Hello, welcome to the Idea of a Man. My name is Omar Zach Phillips and I'm so glad you're here to join me. I would like to talk to you very quickly with regards to a simple question that I would like to throw out there to you as you are listening to my video today. The question quite simply is, what is your idea of a man? Now right now as you're watching this video, you may, may be a man, a woman, a boy, a girl, an older person, I don't know what your particular situation is, but still, you have an idea in your mind with regards to what you think a man is or is not, should be or should not be, etc, etc. Whether you've even particularly given it much thought, you still have that kind of perception in your mind and some kind of an idea with regards to what a man should be. But if you are a man and you've not given it much thought, I would like to encourage you very strongly to consider for yourself, what is your idea of a man? Does your idea of a man come from external sources, come from the ideas that other people have told you a man should be? Is it from the way that you were brought up, from the schooling that you had, from the society that you've grown up in, the books that you've read, the films that you've seen, the, the things you've read in the newspaper? What is your idea of a man? Is your idea of a man the way a politician behaves or lives their life or is? Is your idea of a man a man in a suit or is your idea of a man a man in overalls? Is your idea of a man a man, you know, um, dressed up as a woman? Is your idea of a man um, a homosexual? Is your idea of a man a straight man? Is your idea of a man, you know, any of these things or all of these things or none of these things? Truth be told, it doesn't actually matter what your idea or my idea of a man is per se. A man is what a man is, just like a woman is what a woman is. We are what we are and life is what it is. And essentially, life is what we make it. So as individuals, we have a tremendous amount of autonomy over our own existences. And when we do look around the world at the other individuals that we interact with, it's really important that we give people the space to be able to be whoever they are and to allow people to evolve and to grow and to mature and to blossom into the fullest versions of themselves and their truth and their reality. But in and of yourself, have you really ever dug deep within yourself to ask for yourself what your truth is? Are you living your authentic life or in your interactions are you living somebody else's existence are you doing a checklist of somebody else's idea of what a good man should be and simply just making sure that you're keeping out of everybody's way and doing whatever makes everybody happy and doesn't ruffle any feathers doesn't rock the boat and keeps everything ticking along smoothly for many of us as men that's quite satisfactory because oftentimes you know we do anything for an easy life and to be honest with you you know stress and hassle and all that there's enough of that in life anyway so why rock the boat by being authentic and trying to be the most authentic raw real versions of ourselves you know why would you do that to yourself well the reason why you do it to yourself is this one day you're going to come to the end of this whole thing none of us gets out of here alive and you're going to look back and say was I authentic? What, what was this thing all about? This thing here was all about, for me at least, you know, we're here for a reason. We all have unique gifts and talents and resources. We all have so much within us. You know, my take on it is that we're all divine. We're all divinity here in these physical meat suits. And we have a tremendous opportunity to express that potency and that power. We see people doing it in various different ways. We see people expressing potency and power whether it be the rich and the famous or the powerful individuals in the world. And some of them are not necessarily doing it for the good per se, or according to somebody's value system, perhaps even according to my value system, perhaps according to your value system. You know, there's some people out there who are doing tremendous things and there's other people who we have to, you know, discriminate for our own perspective. Like, I don't like what they're doing over there or whatever the case may be. Sure, I get it. That's, that's how we all do. We all make our evaluations. We all make our judgments. We all make our thoughts and our considered opinions and our perspectives. The question we have to ask though, when we put it all aside and stop thinking about what others out there are doing is, are we doing our best? Are we doing the most that we could do? Are we tapping into the divinity, the potency, the power that's within us and really living our authentic true selves? Are we being all that we are here to be? Are we utilizing the gifts that are intrinsic to who we are, to our very fundamental nature? Or are we allowing life and circumstances to rob us of the gift of our truth? Of the essence of who we are and i'm not saying this lightly because i recognize that bills must be paid responsibilities must be handled life is what it is and a little decision here can affect so many other areas of our lives and you may have made decisions at a particular stage in your life which have landed you in a whole layer, a layer of situations where you now are just kind of managing and you're coping with all of the you know the outworking of those decisions as it were so that, that's okay that's fine 
Today is a new day. Every moment is a new opportunity. You could stop right now and take a little bit of stock and think and ask yourself the question for yourself. Are you living out your idea of a man? Is your truth being expressed in the way you conduct yourself on a day-to-day basis and the life that you're living? And if not, then perhaps you can start thinking little by little of how you can begin to include more of your truth into your life. How you can begin to live more authentically. How you can begin to live out your idea of a man more and more. At the Idea of a Man, we've got a thing called the Idea of a Man Project. And it's a 12-step process where we, first of all, for the first quarter of this 12-step process, ask who am I, where do I fit, and how do I survive? So we lay a foundation of identity, asking an answer to a question for ourselves, who are we? What is our place in this world? As in, based upon our truth, based upon our values, based upon what we want to do, what we came here to do, not based upon anything external, not based upon what others would like from us, but actually what at core we are. Because it's really important, because you're not going to look back on your life and think, you know what, I'm so glad I lived my entire life for others. You're going to think, you know, I lived my whole life and I denied myself, and I don't even know who I am. So know who you are, get to know who you are, and then live from that authentic truth. You know, when you do, you give other people permission to do so as well. And also, by respecting the divinity in others and opening the doors for others to, to live their truth, like I'm doing by even having this conversation with us right now, Everything begins to change. The whole entire remit of the way we approach life changes. You know, I wouldn't be saying this if it wasn't for the fact that so many of us just toe the line. We follow what society tells us we should be. We do things according to what our families tell us we should be, the way we were brought up, whatever the case would be. And we miss out on so much of what existence can have for us. And I've done that in my own life in so many different ways. A lot of what I'm teaching here are personal lessons that I've learned the hard way along the course of my own personal experience and existence. So I'm encouraging you so strongly to lay that foundation in your life initially and then afterwards we go on to looking at business and finances and recreation, how we recreate ourselves and put ourselves back together so we can get back into the fray and live our lives the way we want to. We look at business so we can fund this enterprise which is our lives. We look at finances so we can get it all together so that we can live a life for us that has a meaning to us because this whole structure of building this thing is going to need some resource. It's going to need some utilization of our talents and gifts so we can be blessed and so we can bless others and be an asset to others. And then we begin to look at relationships because perhaps that's what life is all about. So we look at intimate relationships, we look at family, and then we look at male friendship, which is a big area that's often not talked about, and often not even thought about. So many men out here are just lone wolf in it. We're living our whole lives ignoring others around about us and we don't have others to fall back on or to draw resource from when life does what life does to us and that's not a good place to be and perhaps that's a part of the reason why the statistics on say things like male suicide and male incarceration and male drug abuse and all the other really debilitating statistics are so prevalent because we are just out here on our own and it can be quite a depressing and lonely existence and when things go wrong we just are dependent entirely upon ourselves and there's no release there's no outlet there's no help there's no hope um, and we need to learn to love ourselves and to look after ourselves so much better. So in the last section, we'll be doing spirit, soul and body. We're going to get a little bit existential, very, very practical in the way that we look at these deep things. We're going to be looking at the body and how our body and our physical, mental, emotional well-being all sort of sunk, sink into each other and tie into who we are. That's the Idea of a Man project. On the ideaofaman.com, I also have my journal, which is going to be me document and tell you all about my journey as a man and discovering my idea of a man and evolving through that process because it is a very much an evolutionary process certainly have by no means arrived so i'll be telling you about the bits and bobs and things that are occurring within my journey as we do that and i'll also provide you with lots of resources in the resources section whether it be me um, critiquing books that I've read or whether it be um, you know other resources links to uh, help whether you could be going through something um, or whether life is doing whatever it may be doing for you and just other bits of interesting information that I come across along this journey so this idea of a man is my um, writer's blog I'm a writer um, and I am my main website is almostzachphillips.com visit me there find out about the first book that i've written which is the i am early worm catches the bird which is part of a three-part series all about the worm and the bird and it is a metaphor for a man's journey the books that i'm going to be writing predominantly are going to be all about male protagonists on their life journey um, my interests are three things psychology and counseling which is what i'm actually studying men's work and also literature i love writing i love reading um, i love that whole fear the whole sphere i love um literature which is basically what i classify as the poetry 
of a good novel, you know, when uh, it's got good prose in the way that it's written. So I seek to write in that way, and eventually I'm going to be bringing out a non-fiction book based upon the subjects and topics that we're discussing that is in the pipeline, and so keep an eye out for that also. But ask and answer the question for yourself, what is your idea of a man? And go on the journey. Join me on the journey. We'll be doing courses here at The Idea of a Man. We're going to be doing a bunch of different things and pumping you with the resources as much as possible, as quickly as I can get them out there to help you on your journey to discover your idea of a man and to live that authentic truth to the best of your ability and to smash out of the ballpark all the nonsense, all the voices and all of the societal things that are trying to tell you that you need to be this way as a guy or that way as a guy or whatever the case may be. Find out your truth and live it with all your heart. Thank you for listening.